We're going to move on to playing the game Red Rising by Stonemaier Games. It's their newest game. And it is a game similar to Master of Wills. A game you guys might have seen us play on a live stream years ago. We've been doing the live stream for probably, I think this is our fourth or fifth year now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Long time. And it's been quite a while. And we're playing a three-player version of the game that plays up to six players. And it has a single-player um, automata, autom automa, automata system where you play one player, mm -hmm. basically. Autonomous? Uh, yeah. And we should pick a color. So oh, color is going to be blue. Yes. And Max will be gold. Give me the gold. And I will be red. And we'll get a top Each down player is, so we can see. We will, yeah. yeah. Each player is going to get a red, gold, and blue player aid, as well as a little track that states what the, their abilities can do. We playing this game. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a chance to check it out. See if you want to pick it up. It's, it is on Amazon. It's also so on Stone My awesome. website, too. And the Stone My website. So you can pick it up on so either of the, those locations. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the top down. I'll explain the game and how it's played, and then we'll go ahead and start playing the game. Me and Max have played the game. Callie is new to it, so I'll teach her in about five seconds here, and you guys will learn as well with us, and you guys can vote on who you think will win, but we all know who that is going to be. Me. Nobody's going to vote for me because I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Okay. What's going on? So in the game, there are approximately, I believe, uh, 13 factions. This is uh, a novel based on Pierce Brown's books. I think there's a trilogy or quadrilogy, whatever that's called, of books called Red Rising. It's a really quick game, so it's probably going to be a pretty quick stream tonight. Um, but the idea of the game is pretty simple. You're going to uh, be managing your hand. You'll be placing down cards, you'll be pulling cards up, and you'll be taking actions when you put them down and pull them up. When... Two of the three uh, specific end game conditions are met by one player, or if all of us collectively meet all three of the end game conditions, the game will end triggering a total of equal turns, and then we'll score our hand. Bonuses for our three different uh, scoring areas, which is going to be the fleet track, it'll be our uh, helium, uh, which are these going to be put in here, and then we'll also have these uh, our influence tokens that'll go on the mm -hmm. institute. We each start with 10 influence and no helium and all of our fleet members are on the zero. Right there. Uh, we have a couple things here. The first player marker, I'll start with it just so you guys... Yep. Oh, actually yellow player usually does, but we don't have yellow, so I'm just going to start with it. Um, and we also have a sovereign token and then we have this die here. And this die is it's called the custom rising die, which we'll be using throughout the game. We're also going to be flipping over two characters and placing them down in each location. Now we have Jupiter, and then we have Mars, and then we have the yellow location, which is going to be right, Luna. Location. Yep. <laughs> and then we're going to have the Institute as well. Just like that. We're also each going to get five cards from the deck. This is our starting hand, which we'll be manipulating throughout the game. Okay. Well, you can have more than five cards, and there are certain cards in the, in the game that will allow you to gain these, those cards. Mm -hmm. However, after seven, you'll start getting penalized. For every card after seven that you have at the end of the game, you will lose ten points. But a lot of cards will give you more than ten points gotcha. um, in your hand. So mm -hmm. there's a benefit to having more than seven cards. It's just you might want to think about, do you want to customize your hand better uh, to score more points with a singular card that you already have? Mm -hmm. You sleepy already? Sorry, no. <laughs> this is the third time you yawn. Don't you make me no. fight back a yawn? Um, and the, uh, yeah, you want to customize your hand, or do you want to try and gather more cards? That will depend on the cards that you have. Each card, as you see down below here, is going to have a color. It's going to have a value for the end of the game. It's going to have colors on the left-hand side that represent what the card kind of does or works with. Then the first little area or section on the bottom of the card is going to be the deployability. Deployability is the ability that happens when you place the card down in one of the four locations. Okay. Just do that. Mm -hmm. At the very bottom of the card will be a benefit of some type. Maybe it's end game victory points. Maybe it's an end of game bonus of some type. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe it's a requirement in order to score points. Like, for instance, maybe... Harmony and Lysander need to work together in some way, and if you have them in your hand at the end of the game, you'll score bonus points. Additionally, each of us are going to have our own house. I'm, I'm a house Mars, so whenever I gain this Sovereign token, I will gain a Helium. 
Whenever I have a, solemn to a sovereign token and I gain it again, I will gain the ability yet again. Okay? So let me explain how the game works now. On your turn, you're going to be able to do one of two things. You can lead or scout. When you choose to lead, you will take any one of the cards in your hand and you will deploy it to one of the four locations down below. When you place a card down on a location, you will take the deployability. Then, after that, you are going to be able to take a card from any other location and receive that location's benefit. If you choose not to take a card from a location, you may instead draw a card from the top of the deck here and random. roll the random custom die. Mm -hmm. The different locations have abilities and they are as follows. This one over here will let you advance your marker on the track. Mars is going to let you gain a helium. Luna is going to let you gain the sovereign token and the Institute will let you place an influence in the Institute area. The game is going to end when one player achieves either, uh, in any combination of two, seven influence in the Institute and seven spaces on the fleet track, as well as seven helium gained. So if we each have one of those three that will end the game, or if one of us has two of those things. Magical number is seven in this game. Seven to the Institute, seven on the fleet track, or seven helium. Okay. Okay? When that happens, make sure we have equal number of turns. Then we're going to score points. We'll score points based on the cards in our hand on the top left-hand corner, any points at the bottom of our cards, and then points via the tracks here. The fleet track, as you can see, if you have four, you'll score ten points. Helium will have a certain number of points, which is outlined in the book. Uh, the more, the better, obviously. And the Institute as well. The first player is going to score a certain number of points for having the most, and maybe the first player gets four points for each um, uh, for each uh, one of their influence in here. The second player will get three, and the third player will get two, so on and so forth kind of thing. And that's basically the idea of the game. It's rather simple. Take a card, deploy it, and then pull a card off. Now, the other option is Scout. It's something that you're rarely ever going to utilize. And how Scout works is really simple. You'll reveal the top card of the deck, and then you're going to place it on any location. But you do not gain any benefit for doing so. The only reason you want to do that is because you like what's in your hand, you don't want to switch anything around, and you want the game to end. Maybe Max is going to be one turn away from ending the game and I have my perfect hand, so instead of deploying anything, I can just scout. Typically, you're not going to want to scout in this game. Okay. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? Nope. Max? Any what? questions at all? I explained this four times to him and he's still goofed. <laughs> Halfway through the game! <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. You play a card. Right. Nobody you get a perfect. card. Shush, damn. You you, yes. From that location. All right. So I'm going to go ahead it. and see what I want to do. And I'm going to choose to lead. That's my first action. Shockingly. Yeah. What do I want to do? Before we start, my first one's ability is I gain one extra card before game. There you go. Whenever I gain the sonic yeah. I'm broken, I get helium. Mm -hmm. My special Moves ability. on the track. Is when I get the Sovereign token advance on the fleet track. Yep. All right. Hmm. All right, I'll start. I'm going to place a Gardener on Jupiter. Now, what he says is, he says, if you deploy it directly on top of Violet or Pink, move that card to the top of another location and gain a Helium. So I'll take the Masseuse here, and I'll move it. Uh, over here. I'll gain a helium. And now I get to remove a card from any location that isn't Jupiter. Wherever you last deployed, that's where you can't take. So I can't take from Jupiter. Obviously, I can't take the card I just put down. Yeah. So I can take any of these other cards, or I can draw from the top of the deck. I have to look in my hand what I like. Mm, let's see here. I'll take a card from the top of the deck. Oh. And when I do that, I'll take this die here, and I'm going to roll it. And I will get a helium. Okay. That's it. Placed, deployed, took, mm -hmm. bonus action. Pass. All right. I am going to play this assassin. The card states, banish this card directly under this one. If it is a gold, place one influence on the institute. So uh, I will be banishing... That's not a gold card, so you can't banish it as a red card. That is a gold card. No, no. 
Banish the card directly under this one. Is if it... it's a gold, then I put one on the Institute. He won't get one on the Institute then. Yeah. Oh, so it's just... not a comma, it's a period. So yeah, you'll just basically banish this guy here. But sadly, this card is just going to go to the side here. Some cards, when you banish them, um, other cards in your hands might affect that card. For instance, uh -huh. one card might say, you get 10 points for every red card that has been banished this game. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's placed down, he, he removed, and he didn't remove on a gold, so he doesn't get anything on the Institute, but now he can take any card from the top of Mars, Jupiter, or the Institute. He's yeah. going to take pink. I'm going to take this guy and end my turn. And when you take from green... What do you do? Institute. Eat. Yes. Okay. okay. And that's it. Your turn. So... How are you doing, Serge? Have a good day. <laughs> nice to see you. You're going to take Lysander? I'm going to see, yeah, what it is. Because you can't take the card you if you're covering it up. You can look at any of the up. cards, too. Yeah. Yeah, you can look at any cards you want, even the ones underneath. Mm -hmm. so, didn't want Harmony on the field. Removing players' helium. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's a really mean card. Okay, I guess, I guess that seems like a good in the game, the story is kind of like you're working with 14 other cast uh, members, like different casts, mm -hmm. and the gold is kind of like the oppressing uh, organization. So a lot of these guys don't like to work with gold, but gold is just usually generally pretty good. Yeah, gold has a lot of points, too. Okay, so you place down Aja, yeah. choose an opponent, they banish one of their cards, then banish... Max has too many cards. Wow. He really like gets banished as well. That is mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you lose one card from your hand. Banish. And I'm going to be blocking that action. Okay. So when an opponent tries to steal or banish your cards, reveal this to block them. Denied. And now you can take out one card from any location that isn't the one you deployed in. Lysander. Okay. And I'll and add a cube to you, the Institute. You got it. Yep. Hmm. All right. What do I want? So at the bottom, is that additional points? Or it turns into that many points? Sorry? The bottom of the cards have points? Yes. You, at the end of the game, the you will get additional points if okay. you meet if that. If you meet the condition. Exactly. Okay. Mm. All of these cards do not help me very much. What do we have here? Okay, so I'll go ahead and play Daro here, which lets me gain any card here that is a non-gold. And if there's a gold in this area, then I do not banish him, but otherwise I do. So Daro's gonna leave. Okay. Then I have to take. So that netted me one extra card. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take. I'm going to take this assassin. Uh -huh. And when I do, I'm going to gain this wonderful little sovereign token. Whenever I gain the sovereign token, or if I already have it, I will uh -huh. gain a helium. Okay. That's it. I'm going to do something interesting. Play this measure. Uh, sorry. Mazoo's uh, right there. And it says, move the top card to another location, uh, to the top of a different location, gain the original location's bonus for that card. The top card of that one? Yeah. Oh, and I okay. move it to the top of another. And the, the, top top is, the top is up here. Sorry. Yeah. So. What are you playing? Move the top card of another location. Can't be oh, that location. Sorry. So it's literally not the location you placed it on. To a different location, and then you gain the original location for that card. Let's 
move the green to the institute to the institute okay so you move the top card of another location to the top of a different location mm -hmm. and then you gain the original location bonus for that card which is red so you get a helium okay now you get to take a card or place a or take a card yeah you place i'm it, going to draw the card and, and then roll, roll the die, die. And it landed on the Institute. No. Put the card back in your hand. You roll the bonus die. Sorry. You get a bonus. That would be a negative. Yeah. <laughs> your turn, be, Kelly. I see where this guy is. Okay. I will... I'm going to play Lysander here. Yep. Gain the top card of the deck and banish him unless you deployed him on Luna, which you did. Um, And then I'll take this, right? Why? No, no. Sorry. I have to take one. You took yeah. one? You, know, you placed, you deployed. Yeah. Now you take. Anywhere but Luna. Um, no! Mars will net you a helium. Uh, all right, fine. Banish the card directly under this one. If it's a gold, I place an influence on the Institute. Let's get rid of them golds. I'll place an influence here. And then I can take, and I think, I think I don't like any of these cards, so I'm just going to draw from the top of the deck, and then uh, I'm going to roll this die. Nice. Another helium. Four out of seven. You always end up uh, gaining that helium uh, so fast. You got to take the Sovereign, that's why. Yeah, him having the Sovereign is never good. <laughs> I'm going to put him down on Mars. You may gain. His effect won't. Do anything? Do anything Why? because he's by himself. You may gain Nero or Jerpo from this location, and if you do, regain Alfron and end your turn. Okay? Let's do. Okay. Your turn, Callie. Serious <clears throat> business. Yeah. So, play the diplomat. Okay, you Eight. and an opponent of your choice may place one influence on the institute. All right, Michael, join me on the institute. Yeah, let's push Max so out nice. of there. So nice. I will pick up this assassin here. Oh, the gold killer. And take the sovereign. Yep. And gain a fleet. one on the fleet. Great. Okay. Your turn. Hmm. <sighs> it's tough. I think I will gain Alfrim. Mm -hmm. I get another obsidian from this location. And then I have to take a card from some other location. Do I want any of these though? I will go with the rando card from the top and I will roll. Institutions. They institutionalized this. Put me in an institution. They said it was the only solution. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Alright, I will play this politician. And it's you next. may reveal two gold cards from your hand, and if you do, place two influence on the institute. Two you got points. it. Uh oh. Michael's yeah. got his helium. I've got my institute points. Callie's working her way up on the fleet tracker, so. 
<laughs> well, one. <laughs> well, you're getting up there. You're more than us at the moment, so. Okay, what are you doing? Lights? Oh, I'm just looking at the cards first. Oh, okay. You don't want to cover the one if you, that you want to pick up. Nope. It is your turn, though. Right? Yes, I okay. know. I was asking. I'm not, I wasn't sure. Um, this guy um, his ability doesn't. Effect, if know. he's deployed on Mars or Luna, or the Institute, deploy another, uh, deploy one other blue from this location to Jupiter. Yes, okay. and I'm going to just draw one from the deck. Okay, you need to roll. You get the Sovereign token. Oh, and I already had it too. It doesn't matter, you just move up on yeah. the track. All right. Hmm. I'll place Uncle Nero there, and I gain two helium when I deploy him. And I'll take Orion, and I'll move myself up on this track here. That's it. to be playing uh, Zunabar. It says, nice move a card with an odd core value from this location to the top of another location. So I'm going to move the politician yep. over to the institute. Okay. And I'm going to collect. Okay. And place one of your guys on the... Yep. Your turn. I'll go and we're good here. Advance twice on the fleet track. And then everyone else does once, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Pull a card off. I'll pick up the diplomat. Which will give me one on the fleet track. Oh, I bet you want that card, don't you? Didn't you just play it, though? Yeah. Why do you want it? And why do you want to play it? Because I, I had to move up first. <laughs> we'll see if it's still there. I, I kind of like it. I do kind of like that card, Callie. <laughs> I also don't want you to get it, so we'll put that there. And I will take Uncle Nero back. And the Institute welcomes me by giving me another point of the Institute. Let's see what this guy does right here. Okay. We're getting to the end of the game, by the way. Yeah, because... You're at six, and, and he's got six, and you're at five. Uh-huh. Play a thing. Yeah, I'm thinking here. Come on now. 
on the chest timer clock. I'll place him down. It says, move an obsidian or green from any location directly under this card. You may gain that card if you do end your turn. I'm just going to move him. Right there. Okay. And I will draw a card. All right. And... Guys, please. Thank you. Institute. Ooh, institute. Okay. So Got now seven. I have seven in the institute. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Kelly. Um, well, no gold. Yeah, we'll banish that guy. Goodbye. He's not gold, though, so no bonuses. I'll pick up. Erga. Gain this, which means I go up here. Go ahead. You're trying to end the game on me. You you only have six here though. So you. you're six, I'm at six. We both have to get it to seven to end it, right? Yes. <sighs> All right, if I deploy this under Jupiter, I get to uh, place two cards underneath this one. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to take the masseuse, and that gives me this, which also happens to give me one of the uh -huh. game conditions as well. All right, I want to check what this guy does. Pick it up. <laughs> yep. I don't really want to get rid of any of these, but it is what it is. I will put that one down, revealing two golds. Yep. Let's put two more on the institute. Yep. Does that do anything? That He's going to get seven. points for him. Ah, uh, okay. Move me up on the fleet similar tracker, please. To this track. Thank you. Uh, yes, he gets four points for each if he's the highest, and uh, then three points, and then two points. Okay. It's something like that. Yeah. And you can only have a maximum of 10 on there. All right, your turn. Okay, let's um, go here uh, and grab this thing, guys. You and Avalanche Choice may place one influence on the Institute. Did you want to do that? Oh, oh, yeah, yes. Sorry. You and I can go there. And then I'll pick up this data port specialist and go up on the feet. Okay. Uh, does Seven. that just end the game? Let me see. I wish you didn't do that. You want to end the game, I'm guessing? Yeah. The end of the game is triggered when all three of these conditions are met by any combination of players, or when any two conditions are met by the same player. Final, finish taking turns until each player has taken the same number of turns in the game. Mm -hmm. And if Apollo is the house, the other one to take uh, the last turn. This is an extra turn. All right, you so stopped you me from. So you started, so yeah. Yep, we you stopped it. me from getting a boatload of points. Woohoo! That's good, right? I mean, I'm still gonna stomp you in the oh, ground, but you did a good job. Did. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> You're in trouble, my dear. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and score. Maybe I, maybe I didn't do as well as I thought I did, but we'll find out. Actually, I'll just use this handy dandy score pad, and I will look into the, into the pad here. Into the rule book. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score. Don't damage the rule book too much. Yep. All end of game abilities. So look at all your cards on the very bottom and tell me if you have any end game abilities. I personally have literally zero. So abilities are the little like play fast forward button. Not fast forward. Okay. Yes. And They're play buttons. Due to my faction's ability, I... You have, to just, you have to lose one card. Yeah. 
So I'm losing that one. Yep. Okay, do you have any end of the game abilities? Yes, I do. Okay. No. This one's not. No. Well, just show me the end of the game abilities. I, game. I do. No, oh. and this is the only one you have. Yeah. Okay. I know, but you both do, okay. so what does that one do? You may treat this card as having the same name as any specific character. Do you want to have a specific name of another character? Yes, Mustang. Okay, that so that doesn't do anything for right now. Yeah, so mine. That is a Mustang. The Yours? same. This card is going to be the Pax. Okay, okay, got you. So th we're all getting zero points then. Mm -hmm. We have MK, which is me, MX, which is Max, and then C, I don't know, L, which is Callie. So zero points for the end game. But I guess we can write, yours is Pax, right? Yep. Yeah. And you have Mustang? Yes. All right. And then we're going to get cards plus any bonus victory points. So I'll show you how I do mine first. Mm -hmm. And you guys can follow in suit. Uh, if you guys can even they see They can't the... see his, your card. No. I'll move them up to right here, I suppose. So I've got quite a lot of big boy cards. So I've got 14 and 10, which is 24, 30, 44, 49, 50, 67 points, 77, 86, 96, 106, 116, 125, which is just the top points. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to score the bottom here. If with a copper, which it's not because Kelly oh. stopped me. If this is the only card I have less that's 10 or lower, I get 40 points. So 40. 40. For each blue, which I have one, which is 45. If, it's, if this is with packs or whatever, no, it's just not. Um, but I do get plus two, so 47. If I didn't have the sovereign token, and if I did, so 58. <laughs> and then if I had cards with only value of 20 or higher. So it's just 58. And that is all the points I got. But yeah, if I would have gotten the copper one, they would have netted me another 16 points. Mm -hmm. And I could have gotten rid of the one without the sovereign. But Yeah. Okay, um, that's all the points for me, uh, Max. All right, we have 15 and 25 for a total of 40, 55, 75. 91. 91. Okay. I get 20 points if with Obsidian or Mustang. I've made yep. a Mustang, so 20. I don't have the red. For the Servo. Yes. Nope, okay. Then I have, if I have Jackal or two other golds, I do, so that's an extra 15. It's an extra, so 35. Then this one gives me two for each influence tokens on the Institute. I believe I have nine, so that is 18 points. 35 and 18 is... 47, uh, 44. And then... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Three. No. 35 and 18? Mm -hmm. 45... 53. 53. Okay. And then I get an extra 14 points if I have gold. 67. 67. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Okay. Callie? Okay. We got 20, 20, 10, 50, 60, 90, 15, 84, 9, 93. 93? For the top cards. Okay. And then the bottom? Uh, 26 if with the blue, it is. 10 if with the gold. 10 if with no obsidian, that's 46. 16 if you are the most advanced on the fleet track. Um, sorry, what was that? 46 plus 16. 50, 62. 62. 62, yep. 15 if your fleet track position is 6 to 8. 77. 70, yeah, 77. Nothing for that one. And then 15 with the packs. And this one's the packs. 92. 92. Oh, uh -huh. I think you might have beaten me on that one. 
All right, and then we're gonna get points for these. So you're gonna get 28 points, Callie, on Yay. the track. I'm gonna get a sad three, and Max is gonna get a sad three. Yeah, okay, got more And then points helium, the it's three points for each of these guys. So three, six, uh -huh. nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I get three points. And Max gets six. six. And then if you have the this thing, you have 10. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I Pulled just did. I, I lost uh, 20 points yeah. for yeah. not having it, for whatever. Where is it? If you don't have it, I lost 21 points. Yeah, but so. then you, it was a swing for you to. So I got, right. I got 11, though, but I yeah. also got 10 here, which is 21, so uh -huh. I kind of made up for it. Um, and then victory points for these. So it's four points for each of these. So three, six, nine times four 30, is 36. 36. Oh, that's on yours. Oh. 36. I have 5, and it's times 2, which is 10. And Callie has 3, and that's times 1, Aww. which is 3. <laughs> and does anybody have over 7 cards? Nope. No. 0, 0, 0. Now we calculate. All right. 90, <laughs> 93 and 92. 28. 3 and 3. 219. Ooh, respectable 219. Max has got 91 and 67. 3 and 6. And 36. 203. 125. 58. 3. 21. 10. And 10. Dun, dun, dun. Totaling at 227. Two twenty, and my first uh, a Only solid, complete, and utter victory. Com I'd like, not complete. I'd like to Very thank close. my grandmother and my grandfather <laughs> for participating in this experience of growing up with me and teaching me how to be a fair and honest winner, mm -hmm. how to be um, humble, humble, <laughs> and earnest. You need some humble pie. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't need humble pie because I won. No, the only people who need humble pie are the losers, right? No, you have to make the humble pie for everyone else. Ah, uh, that's true. Allow me to go make you all pie. <laughs> Fix your pie sensibilities. Good. Um, but that was a really close game. Two twenty-seven, yeah. two nineteen, and two o three. Really close, in fact. I'll yeah. catch you next time. No. Yes. No. Yeah. I good for my first. Okay, game. you'll you'll win next time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yeah, but that's the game, a rising, uh, red, red rising. rising. I want to say rising sun, red rising. Uh, what'd you think? Yeah, it's good. I like the like hand management aspect and trying to combo everything and get get all of the things I needed in my hand. Is this not uh, quite literally uh, very very similar to um, the Masters of Will? The like conceptually, yeah, right? Yeah, like. As far as like, oh, there's different factions, and you're kind of moving they, them around, and they and... each play a different way. Like when you play the cards for them, they play a different way, which is has. And they move experience. each other. It's a different. They move each other around too. Yes. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. It was like uh -huh. hardcore harkening back to that game, but it's hand but management instead of board management. It right? was hard too, because like I started with a bunch of high numbers in my hand. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to play these because they're. They're really good. Yeah. But not all. But then I looked at the bottom. It's like, okay, well, some of them aren't. I'm not gonna have a combo with. So those ones I can play. My big boy was my red dude. He said, as long as he's the smallest card in my hand, I get an extra forty points. And oh, I'm dang. like, that's fifty points for the lowest card. I'm like, yeah, I'll just take all the big stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh, I need a copper card. I'm like, oh, it's perfect. Next turn, I'm gonna get it. And she ended the game. I'm like, hmm, I see how it is. Um, and I also wanted to get rid of this guy too. Mm -hmm. But I guess I, it didn't matter. If I'd known he all. was worth points at the end, I would have just played differently. Yeah, to get him. Well, then you wouldn't have gotten to the end, right? Yeah, because when I get the sovereign token, I go up on the fleet track. Mm. So either way, I was going up on the fleet track. Mm, I see. But maybe you wouldn't have gotten as many points. Maybe because of the cards at the end. It was, the, it was this one, which was my least points. You would have went to 29, and I would have went to. Uh, 217 plus 21. You still 
two eighty eight. Two seventeen. Uh, two thirty eight. Yeah. So I would have got my twenty one points for not having it. So I had either. No, I had no. points either way. Two oh seven plus. I would have lost ten points for not having the sovereign token. And eleven for your card. Ah, uh, so I would have probably stayed the same. And then you twenty one. Yeah, I would have stayed the same. Yes. Yeah, we. You, had the, you could have beat me by two. I know. Points. I could have beat if you. We had that extra turn. It's a good thing I didn't explain yeah, you every didn't rule. Withhold all the point value. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I taught you ninety nine percent of the game, and you never bothered to ask on here. Oh. What I, the, uh, I did. I asked. Well, I asked about look, these guys. Like, wait, how much? How? Why is it worth getting more than seven? There? I said there. You can look and on the victory point, point marker. Oh, okay. It literally even says three points okay. each, four, two, and one. <laughs> Do you know that I didn't know either until I literally looked at this thing? Okay. okay. And it also you. states it on your turn overview. That is right below that? in technology. Oh, okay. It does. Yeah, it's I literally end of game points on your reference card. Blaming me. <laughs> Never bothered to look at their reference card. I did my best. I gave you my utmost without giving you enough to win. So I wanted to be successful in that endeavor. And it was. And I feel vindicated by this decision. I like the way this game plays. If you give Callie too much information, she'll beat you. So you have to kind of leave her in the dark just a little bit. And that's what some of us call mm -hmm. cheating. I call Dis it... Dishonest play. No, I just call it... I, I call it strategy. All right, guys, thank you for watching the Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream for the game Red Rising by Stonemeyer Games. We enjoy playing this game quite a bit, and if you uh, are interested in picking the game up, it's available on Amazon and the Stonemeyer Games website. This is what I'm keeping my collection for quite some time, especially because I own at this game. Embarrassingly so. Not embarrassingly. Embarrassingly. I did super well for my first game. Some might say. <laughs> you can also check our website, Unfiltered Game or Board Games, uh, unfilteredgames.com. We have board games giveaways here, so I listen more. I kind of skipped the part there. And you can also check out our YouTube channel, or if you're watching it here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, and the bell notification button as well. And don't forget our live streams. And a like. Which are on uh, Sundays every week, 6.30 p.m. PST. If you're watching them now, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Patreon members, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We've been... Uh, Using it for paying for the discords and uh, the, the discord, the stream labs, so you guys get better quality. All right, guys, thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.